Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 10th of 2020. Well, it is titled Virgo cluster galaxies. So what do we see here? Well, here we are looking in the direction of the constellation of Virgo. And in that direction, we see the nearest large galaxy cluster to our own. Now our Milky Way is part of what we call the local group of galaxies, which is a few dozen galaxies uh, close together. Three spiral galaxies are prominent and then lots of smaller galaxies. When we look at a much larger cluster like Virgo, we see that they are dominated by elliptical galaxies. And you see three prominent elliptical galaxies here. M87 towards the upper left is the a giant elliptical galaxy and two more large elliptical galaxies M84 and M86 are on the right hand side closer to the bottom. So those galaxies are dominant in, among this and are what we call elliptical galaxies. Now we usually look at pictures of pretty spiral galaxies and we see distinct structures to them. Elliptical galaxies are more just a glob of stars. So they are a big ball of stars. They can be very spherical, what we classify as an E0 type galaxy, or they can be relatively flattened, which would be classified as an E7. Now an E0 would be a round galaxy, uh, a round ball, and an E7 would be closer to the shape of an American football and as it is elongated along one axis. Now when we look at the galaxies here, we also see some interacting galaxies up above M84 and M86. We see uh, two galaxies that are interacting. We can see one is quite distorted and has some very bright blue associated with it, which we associate with star formation. Blue colors signify relatively young stars. When galaxies interact, they're star clouds collide gas clouds and that involves compression of them and then will involve the formation of new stars. So when galaxies collide together we often see enhanced star formation as well as distortions in the galaxies as well. Now as you look around this image most of what we see here are galaxies out in the Virgo cluster. So a lot of the, these are here you will see some of the stars within our Milky Way that just have to lie along the same line of sight looking out towards the Virgo cluster. And they're identified by the diffraction spikes or cross pattern through them. But all of the elongated other objects are also other galaxies and the Virgo cluster of galaxies will contain thousands of galaxies within it. But again, dominated by these several large elliptical galaxies, which is something we note for large galaxy clusters, they become dominated by the elliptical galaxies as they grow over time. And we should also note that M87 up in the upper left was also the first black hole to be imaged by the new Event Horizon Telescope. So at the center of this galaxy is a supermassive black hole. And that is the first one to have been imaged by the new Event Horizon Telescope, a chance to actually almost get a direct look at the very central regions of these galaxies, which is that black hole is what powers a lot of the galaxy and gives a lot of energy that we see. So being able to study those can help us to better understand these galaxies. So that was our picture of the day for October the 10th of 2020. It was titled Virgo Cluster Galaxies. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.